Hello. Okay, first thing first, have, please have a check of your lab marking. Uh, we will upload the marking for the labs and the assignment at the end of today. So maybe you, you can check it during the weekend. If you didn't get it, please contact your tutor as soon as possible. And this is my email. If you didn't receive your lab marking, please send me an email and I will have a check. Yeah, and today we'll go through the final exam general information, including the like uh, the specification when, what, where, and how. And then we will go through like the details from week five to week ten. Just some I will point out some like important knowledge point for you, and you can like do some practice and do some preparation for this. And we do have some like uh, sample question about this part. And we will have a look of how will be the final exam question looks like. And the last thing is the discussion. If you have any question, you feel free to ask me at any time. Okay, so let's come to the final exam question. Uh, general information. We still have around 10 days to do the preparation for the final exam. So pretty sufficient time to do it. So if you plan to get an HD, maybe uh, just uh, start learning from now. And it will take around two hours. Actually, you will have around two and a half hours. So make sure you like come online at around 8.30. And this is a double pass final exam. So you need to get 16 out of 40. And you will be just like the meta exam. So don't worry too much as you have already know like what it looks like in the meta exam. So uh, not the problem, but let's have a quick look of the statistics from last year. And you can see most of the students can get 28, around 28, which is not bad. So don't worry too much if you didn't get a good mark in the midterm exam, because the final exam will be easier than the midterm exam. And yeah, and this is the histogram. Like most of the student is around this part. So in the midterm exam, I remember this part is around 10 or 11. So if you can get 10 or 11 in the midterm exam, probably you can get 28 to 31. Yeah, if you can work harder and then you can come to here. Yep, and as we know, there's no programming stuff in the final exam. It's all about theory and calculation. So just to do the preparation, you need to 
download all the lecture slides beforehand, like we did in the meta exam. So the best idea is to download all the lecture slides and then merge them into one. So it's very easy to search. Yeah, and just set up the internet connection before you attend the exam. I mean, you need to have two internet connection. For example, you can have your mobile hotspot as a backup plan, just in case you lose your connection and you cannot do the submission for your final exam. So please test your internet before you attend the exam. This is, this is very important because it's pretty hard to prove you lose your connection during the exam. So just make sure you will, this will not happen to you. And we will have a Zoom link. So you can feel free to join the Zoom link during the exam if you have any technical problem. 喂，能不能让他别吵？ Okay, so and this is the final exam. How to prepare? It's about the lecture slides. So the first thing we want to do is about the lecture slides. Uh, if you go through all the questions inside the lecture slide, you can see uh, there are lots of questions in the slides. So make sure you go through all of the lecture slides problem because the final exam problem will be similar as that. But of course, we'll not have the same question, but will be like similar question with different parameters. And the weekly quiz, if you go to the website, just next to the uh, lecture slides, you can find some quiz over there. So you can also have a practice on that. So basically just practice, practice, and practice. And you can also find some mock exam and final exam paper in the GitHub link. Uh, not my GitHub link, but you can easily find it on the GitHub. So try to find some like sample exam paper in the GitHub, then you can uh, have a practice of that, especially from last term, it will be quite similar. And I will show you some sample question from last uh, last year. Yeah, and this is the important knowledge points from week one to week five. So it's the same as the midterm here, but it will not be uh, the same stuff as we have in the meta exam. So usually we will test the content from week one to week five, like combining with the content from week five to week 10. For example, we may test your calculation on the TCV part. We may do the calculation on, on this part, but it, Make con like combining with the content from week six, for example, the congestion control, we may combine these two together and ask you to do the calculation. So it will be like a real nice scenario, scenario calculation question. And for example, we may calculate the delay. So I miss a Y here. And the delay can be combining with the TCD content or the reliable data transfer content. It really depends. So don't worry too much about week one to week five. It should be the similar stuff. For example, this one. So you can see, you can find this one really familiar in here because we have this question in the lecture slides. And this is a sample question in the final exam. So we tested, uh, I remember it's last year. So can you try to answer this one right now? So what is the, for example, the green one is sent an egg and yellow one is sent not yet egg. And which one is the go back end and which one is the selective repeat?
Oh, sorry, mistake. So just looking at this one. could be both. If you check out the lecture slide, you can easily find the answer. Yeah, and how about this one? This one and this one. So with this one, it, it cannot be the go back and, and it could be the selective repeat. So if you don't know why, maybe you need to have a look of the concept of them. And but how about this one? I will just leave this question for yourself. You can do your research. And another question is like, how to do the calculation based on the sequence number. So in here, you need to remember, for the thing, we will always add one. We will consider this one is valid. We need to add one. But for the act, we will not consider this one. So it's the same idea for the thing. We will consider this one. But for the act, we will not consider. So you just, when you do the calculation, be aware of that and try to figure out the number, like for, for A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is also tested in the final exam. And next one, this one, uh, so the first question is, is it a Reno or Tahoe? So is it a Reno or Tahoe? Reno? So obviously it's a Reno because of this. And this. So we know Tahoe will always go back to one, but Reno will come to by half. So we need to know what is their like feature. And then you can try to answer these questions by yourself. Okay, so what happened at B? So what happened at here? And here we can see the congestion window size dropped down by half at this point. So we can see it must be a congestion event. So what kind of congestion event we have? For Reno, when we go back to the, set up the congestion window by half, usually it is, uh, what is that? A fast retransmission, right? And when, how about this one? At D, we go back to one. So we know it is another congestion event, which is the, yes, which is the packet loss, the timeout. So both events is packet loss. So both of B and D are packet loss, but what kind of packet loss, right? So in here, B, we have a fast re retransmission. So 
we just cut out the congestion window by half. And in the D, we have a timeout event. So we go back to one. So that's the difference. Uh, I think this one is a quiz question, isn't it? In the slides. So you can see in the final exam, we do test the quiz question. This is the real final exam question, but you can find it in the slides, in the lecture slides. So try to go through this lecture slides question. It is very important. Yes. Uh, and let's have a look for the week six to week nine. Uh, we spend more time on this part as uh, we already have our meta exam for week one to week five. So most of the question will at this point, I would say around 70%, maybe more, more than that. So what you want to pay attention first is the IP addressing. So this one must be tested. And the IPv6, don't worry about it. And the net, we will test it about the port forwarding. So you need to know what is net and don't worry too much about it. Usually this question will be very easy, but the addressing is a bit, some kind of calculation and you have a check of it later. We will have a sample question for that. And the next one is the distant vector routing. This one is must be tested. And the uh, link state routing, just know the concept and about the, um, what is that? You just need to know what is this and how the switch works. And for the link layer, the collision avoidance and detection is must be tested. So, so pay, pay more attention for this part because for the link layer, nothing we can test but this part. So just, know, just need to know what is the collision avoidance? Like what is the algorithm for that? And how does it work? So usually it's pretty easy because it's just some concept. And, uh, and of course the AO 2.11 collision avoidance, you should also know about that. So we have two, two stuff, right? The collision avoidance and collision detection is two different stuff. You need to know what is this and what is that? So what is the difference between these two? The, the first one and the second one is different one. And the security question is pretty easy. So don't worry about it. Just go through the slides. Know how this, how, how uh, the like hash algorithm works and then it should be fine. So don't worry about it because we will not test very hard question on this part. Usually it's a open-minded question. So all you need to do is just write a, write a small essay about this question, like no need to be an asset, but just write something, then you can get a mark. So just pay more attention on the first three, this three. You need to know all the concepts in here, and then you need to be familiar with the calculation, especially for data plane and control plane. So let's have a look. This one is the IP addressing. So you can see that's how we test. We can like ask you to calculate the mask and the IP address. And we can also ask you to do something about the like mask and about the uh, fragmentation, IP fragmentation stuff, you need to, so sometimes you need to check out the lecture slides for this kind of question because you have no idea how to answer this one. So you can try to answer the question right now.
Okay, so in here you can see for the first question, you can see this is our computer. Our computer is connected with this one, two, three, four, five. This five routers. And we are going to this IP address. This is the destination. So we want to connect it with this destination. So which one will we select to send the packet? For example, we need to know which one is our choice. It will go to connect to this IP address. We need to select one. So you need to do the calculation by comparing the IP address at this part, the so 128143, right? So you can see one two eight one four three one two eight one four three. That's all good. But what's the difference? The difference is the subnet, right? The ma their mask is different. And at this part is also different. And for the for this one a we can see it's 16, which means uh, it's, it's bigger than B, C, D. So the IP address must be a subset of this. So we can know this one can be connected, but maybe not the optimal choice. So we need to have a look of others of this B, C, D. Oh, sorry. I need to open this one. Yep, and just do the calculation for the second one, for this one. So we need to know, how about, is this the parent of the IP address? Sixty four. So obvious, obviously, yes. So this could be another correct answer. So we know this one could be, and this one could be, and how about this one? Because we need to find the closest one, and seventy one, fifty five, and this one is thirty two, which means this is the IP address and cannot extend anymore. So this one is not, because this one cannot be connected with the destination. And how about this one, 71, zero. So when you come to 24 here, which means this part, this part, and this part is fixed. And this part is like, it's not fixed. So you can change it to any value. So we can know that this one is also correct. So we can see there are three IP address can be connected with the destination. So which one is the correct one? We can know they are like both connected, but which one is the optimal choice? Yes, so we can see this one is the correct answer because this one is the closer closest one yeah you can see this one is 16 choice a 16 which means that these two are fixed but this two zero can be any value so you can change it it's more it is more flexible but it's not the closest one in the options and that's the reason why we choose the D. And you can do this and this by yourself. You can, uh, I will upload the question into the GitHub link later. For this slide will be, will be available later. So you can do it by yourself. You can see the final exam question is not very hard. After you do the like slides review, then it will not be a huge problem for you.
and it could be some IP question like this. So you can say smallest IP address and largest usable usable IP address. So it's routing. And this is testing your understanding of the mask. Right. So we will just skip this part. Once you know these concepts, then you can be easily answer this question. And we will so in the final exam, we will always ask you to like do the uh, blocking or uh, how can I call it? So we will ask you to divide a subnet into different subnets. So this question is always be tested. Yeah, you can do it by yourself. I think we do have some exercise in the lecture slides. So you just go through the lecture slides and this part will be fun. Yeah, and next part is the distant vector. So distant vector is always be tested. Sometimes we test distant vector, sometimes we test dextra. So there are two algorithms for the routing. And this one is pretty easy, right? Just try to figure out what is the value for x, w, x, y at the initial state. So if you know this algorithm, this one will be very easy. For example, this one is asking the distance vector value at T1. So the first iteration. So what do we need to do in here is we just need to do the, know how does this work for, at, for W. So for W, you already know the di distance of these two. So the W will know the X is equal to one and the Y will, will equal to one plus two, which is three. And how about this one, Z? No, it's not seven because we said is the T one, which is the first iteration. So, in, in W's map, the Z will remain a question mark because W did not connect it with X and Y yet. So the W will not know what is the distance from itself to Z. So it is a, like, it is a question mark in here, or you can set it as a uh, like infinite number. So that's the, hardest question in here. It's a question mark because we are asking about the T1, the iteration one. And the same idea for X, the X, because X already know what is the distance for this, for the neighborhood. And also know this one because it is, it, Z is the neighbor of Y and Y also have the record in, in its own table. So it can know that but the difference is only in here in W. So the X to W is one, X to Y is two, and X to Z is six. And you can do the Y by yourself, so it should be the same for as the X. So th this is the tricky question here, you can see. This is the first iteration. Yes, so you can go through the lecture slides to verify this this answer. And we will also ask you, uh, what is the value at the final state? So obviously the final state, we will just, just need to add them up. It's very easy, but for the T1, it's a bit tricky. And yeah, so that's, for the thing, for the sample question, and in the for the future course, if you uh, are interested, 
you are interested with this kind of course, maybe you would like to select, uh, like if you like the theory part, maybe you want to do this one, mobile data networks. So we have the same professor who is teaching this course. And if you like the security part, you feel like uh, the security is pretty fun and you like the open-minded question instead of programming, then maybe you like you like this one and this one is also pretty fun like you will they will go through all the security question for you like it's but in the assignment you will always do some open-minded questions so i would say it's pretty hard to get hd but it's pretty fun and if you like the theory and you like to get hd maybe this one and the IoT course is also pretty fun. They will give you a small robot and ask you to do some design. And this one is not very easy to get high distinction, but it's pretty fun. So it depends on your demand. And the network security is, is also very, is, this one is also very hardcore course. So it will do some like programming stuff with the wireless networking. This one, like, I really like this one, but it's pretty hard to me. So I wish you enjoy this course. Um, yeah, good luck with your study. Yep, and I will try to upload all the information I have into the GitHub link uh, into here. I will send it to you. I will upload the slides, recording, and some uh, review information for the final exam, like I did in the meta exam. So in the meta exam, I remember I upload some like recording to here because we do have some similar stuff. So for the tutorial two, you can find a solution in here. I would upload it to our GitHub link later. But it, as you can see, it's just the same stuff from last year. So we can also have a check of the recording from last year. We do have, we go through all the content at last year, it's about the lecture slides and the quiz questions. So if you want to like go through all the slides content with me, you can check out this video. Yeah, and also some useful material from last year. I will try to upload some new stuff into our GitHub link later in here. Yeah, and Thank you so much for coming and yep and good luck with your final exam. Yes, and if possible, please leave a like do the my experience because that one is pretty much helpful for us to improve our quality. And this is the final exam information from last year. You may find it useful. And yeah, and that's it.